Hello guys, uh, this is Yao Khan here with another tutorial. So today we'll be doing something a little different. We'll be doing more of uh, food related stuff. So what I have here today is uh, a bunch of sushi which I've drawn already. I've done the, the pencil marks. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting them. We're going to start with the easiest one which is uh, salmon over here. Okay, so from here right from the image where you can see salmon is made out of a uh, mainly made out of like orange color right okay majority of it orange and what it has is uh, a bit of like uh, a kind of stripes white whitey stripes things going on so i'm gonna start so when you paint right all you need to do for the first layer right go try to go light okay so i'm gonna start with a, a base of orange okay this way okay what i'm doing here is i'm i'm slightly avoiding the the little white strips in between okay so I'm just going very light with the, the orange. Okay, so something like that. So as you paint, right, you want to sort of increase the the width of the the salmon they are painting. Okay, you want to increase the width. Like, can you see thin, thicker, thicker, and thicker? So it it makes it uh, more interesting to look at, more uh, appealing as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a very nice orange for the start. Okay, so the hard part about painting uh, sushi right, is, she, is actually uh, painting the rice because rice is, in itself is a white colour so how to actually uh, render that is pretty tricky uh. okay. so what I'm doing now, the second stage I'm doing right, is that since I wet the, the area already I'm just uh, retouching it with a bit more orange okay. then what, what I'm gonna do next is to just group up the whole shape keep getting the whole shape out this way the top and the bottom okay this way so I'm just gonna let it dry a little okay dry a little bit now I'm gonna work on the rice so the rice is as you can see over here is sort of like yellowish uh, orangey kind of view so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw a bit of uh, yellow ochre okay so for the rice what you want to do is use a very diluted version of yellow ochre a bit of uh, burnt umber as well to, to paint the rice so what you're painting right is not the whole every single grain of rice what you're trying to paint out is the whole you're giving a uh, form to this whole uh, sushi below okay then what you can do is let a bit of orange uh, bleed into this as well okay this way and what, what you have to do for this entire part is just press down your brush and just drag across this way like that so you created a bit of like a form going on down here so what you need to do now is you touch up the bottom as well okay touch up the bottom this way okay See, right now i'm gonna go for another layer for the the salmon right now okay a much uh, harsher orange over here and this point i'm gonna throw in a bit of uh, this way a bit of flesh tin Go across this way. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty wet, right? Okay, the first layer is always like this one. Okay, so this will be this will, we'll leave it as it is as it is now. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the next one. Okay, so for the first layers for all these uh, sushi, right, it's, it's gonna be rather wishy washy. You want to layer this kind of like effect, so the 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 form will take shape when you're applying your second layer. But you have to wait for it to dry first, uh. Okay, so the next layer. The next one what we have here is a sa salmon roll. So salmon roll is like the, the egg, uh, the egg of the salmon. So instead of painting every single one, right, select a few along the the further ones, okay? For this case, right, you want your brush to be slightly dry, not too wet, because you want just a very light glaze. Okay, what I'm leaving for each uh, egg over here is a very light reflective spot on the top. Okay, something like this. So I'm going for a very light orange leaving a bit of a uh, white speck at each on each one okay it has to be decent decently wet uh, not too dry okay select a few maybe around here around these edges the one closer to the edges okay so one over here just give a little white spot for each okay this might this might take you like maybe uh, a minute or so okay so just it's pretty uh it's pretty repetitive like you don't have to think much all you need to just leave a white spot for each area okay something like that 
the more prominent ones, which is the, the one at the top. Okay, this way. So what? So you might be thinking, what we, what we're we gonna do with the rest? Okay, so the rest is just a. Uh, you're just gonna fill it up with a uh, orange as well. Okay. So what I have here is uh, I painted the, the the egg roll around here. Can you guys see? So around this area. So the rest I'm just gonna fill it up with orange as well. This way. So just get the whole silhouette out. Okay, fill in the gaps this way. Okay, then in the, in the meantime, right, what you have to do is throw in a bit of darker orange. So what you can do is take a bit of uh, take a bit of red, mix with a bit of orange, just to get some uh, interesting color going on, like this. Okay, something like that. Okay, so a bit of interesting uh, red is going on, but you don't want it to be too reddish, not your re kind of resemble uh, blood. So you want to bring in a bit of uh, darker orange again. This way. Okay, so what we lay what we have here is a layer of like uh, orange as well as a bit of darker orange in the side. So just let it let it dry this way. Okay, you don't want to touch it too early because if you touch it too early, what happens is that uh, it will it will. If you paint the, the other parts, you'll start to, it sort of bleed into your image itself. So you don't want that to happen at this point. So this this one, uh, we're going to leave it this way first. Okay, let them dry. Let it dry. Okay, so we're going to work on the next one, which is a uh, tuna. Okay, tuna over here. So tuna from the image, is what you can see here is a uh, yeah, it's rather rather reddish, right? Okay, this one is uh, this piece over here. So I'm just going to place it at the side so you guys can see. Okay, so it looks something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna render it. So how, how I'm gonna render this already? What I've drawn here is a is a piece of uh, just a slab of meat. Uh. Okay, so mainly what this color is made out of is flesh tin for a start. Okay, so how do I know it's flesh tin? Because I want the I look for the lightest color on the on the tuna itself, which is the brightest the the shiniest part, which is also a flesh tin in color. Okay. Although, although you see like there's a lot of reds, but you need to have a base color work going on first. So I'm just gonna lay this with a very nice glaze of uh, flesh tin. Flesh tin in some cases is called a uh, Naples yellow red. If you cannot find, you can use this for uh, skin tones as well. It's a very nice uh, skin color. Lah. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna just throw in a, a slight bit of red. Okay. Over how and where I normally start at the edges, the, the one at the side because it's the darker one, okay? Slightly around here. Then let it let it just travel its way upwards. So I choose one side to be darker, so I'm choosing this area to be slightly darker. Okay, so I just slowly blend it up this way. Slowly blend it up this way. Then what you want to do is uh reinforce the edges again over here. So I'm just reinforcing this with a bit more red. Make it more prominent at one side. This way, okay. So, same thing. I'm gonna let this just uh dry on its own, okay. Just let this dry on its own. So, now we're gonna work on the next one, which is the okay. So, here, just let me touch up a bit more. Okay, so what I want here is a very light, uh, like a glow for this tu uh, tuna piece, piece of tuna. So, what I'm gonna do is just before it dries, just use a bit of tissue to just uh, lightly dab. So I get a very nice uh, shine over there. So very simple uh, process to get a, a nice glow over there. Very nice, right? Okay. So next up, what we have is a uh, eel, unagi. So for unagi, you can see uh, it looks like a bit like the texture looks a bit like chicken. So we are going to decipher the kind of colors that are used over here. So you can see over here, there's a bit of uh, Naples yellow. For here, there's uh, I would say it's a uh, uh, like a brown kind of brownish. So which carries a bit, but for food wise right you want to introduce a bit of orange as well because if it gets too brown it might look very unappetizing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a bit of orange i decipher this as i break this down into orange and uh, burn umber so i just mix these two what, and see what we get okay so very simple i'm gonna start with a uh, nipples yellow to to just glaze this top part okay nipples yellow to glaze the top of the eel Okay, this way just give a coat of color this way okay then for the the other part i'm gonna use orange orange here okay so it looks like this orange and burnt umber 
So burn umber is something like this. Okay, so when you mix these two, right, you get a, a quite quite nice glaze of like orange over here. So I'm gonna use it to to glaze it across. And as I as I work on it, right, what I'm doing is I'm applying a bit of uh, stripes as well to suggest that it's a kind of like uh, seafood uh, in a sense. Okay, so I'm doing something like that. Just glaze it across. A bit of white whitey stripes over here. What I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm slowly letting I'm letting it touch the the watery part so that it will sort of bleed into the the thing. Okay, and as you paint right, you want to sort of slant it a bit. Slant it this way. Okay, and then the rest is just a uh, just brownish color. So this whole thing is brown. Okay, then with the don't don't straight away wash away your brush. What you want to do is use this brown to this mixture to sort of join the lines together so that this piece uh, looks more obvious and then what you can do is line this side as well so when it's still when the water when this part is still wet you can use your your brown mixture to sort of touch up this area okay something like that so so there's the the same color can be used for a lot of cases so you don't have to straight away wash out so what i'm going to do here for the center part right i'm going to create a bit of like pattern for fish okay so something like that something like that it might not be seen in the in the picture itself but uh, things like this help to suggest a bit of like a, a meat kind of texture okay so these are the kind of things which you can sort of improvise okay which people will associate with uh, fish or something along that line uh, so always tap into your own knowledge so what I'm doing here is I'm retouching this edges using the same mixture of yellow orange and uh, burnt umber so once again why we use orange is because we want our food to look uh, still look rather appetizing right okay so you don't need to go too dull and then you'll lose all its uh uh i can't find a word okay but you know what i mean lah. okay so yeah okay so just glaze it across like this so before this before this uh dries right okay before you use uh use up this color okay so this same color can be used in other areas as well so we are going to use it back in the, the salmon that we have over here this piece of salmon so it has dried pretty nicely okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to glaze it upon another layer of orange as well to to suggest more form so where you apply is pretty important you don't want to keep you you don't want to apply to the entire thing over over again so i'm just applying to the side over here to suggest a bit of form okay this this area over here something like that just glaze it across this way okay so you, you start to give a bit of form this way then after that i'm gonna apply to the other side as well this way like this make it more prominent okay somewhat like that like this all right then using the the brown and uh orange mixture that we have i'm gonna use it to out, sort of like outline this piece of uh, salmon over here make it more prominent this way and i'm placing a bit of uh, line work along the, the the lines of the salmon over here okay okay so something like that okay so to make it look like a pretty yummy piece of uh, uh, salmon over here so okay what we're gonna do next is uh using the same color is yeah it's very useful right okay so i'm taking the orange once again it's orange and burnt umber in this case uh we're gonna paint we're gonna make the the egg roll more defined over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint the the areas around around it to make it more uh prominent make it pop out even more so just glaze this area so i'm just creating like darker so the ones at the back, I'm just giving a, a very or, dark orange and uh, burnt umber. Orange and burnt umber, okay. Filling up the gaps again, this way. So this part you need to be pretty, uh, pretty careful, okay. Make sure you you get the shape out nice and easy. Okay, so normally the ones at the back is uh, you just you just glaze it with orange and burnt umber. Then the 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 ones in the front will sort of appear more prominent okay so something like that something like this okay can you guys see so it looks like yeah so something like that so i'm i'm actually making it more roundish okay over here 
so around the top there's a bit as well so this part right you want to use as a uh, quite very very little amount of water like your your brush is pretty much uh, almost dry okay so maybe just like one drop of water or two one to two drops of water just enough for you to to get some uh, paint onto your brush okay so to in order to create details like if you don't what you don't now is to have a large drop of uh, water over here because you can't paint any details that way okay so something like that okay so what I can use it for uh, alternatively I can use it to, to sort of outline my my the eggs egg rolls at the top okay just give it a very really nice outlining at the top to make it more uh, obvious this way something like that just line it across line it across this way yeah so you have something like this going on okay so how to how to make it more uh how does this appear right is that right now we're gonna paint the seaweed so the seaweed right what we have here is a uh, uh, for seaweed right you see there is uh, it's almost like blackish kind of brownish kind of thing so actually this mixture is a very simple just a mixture of burnt umber and indigo so burnt umber and indigo okay but leaning more towards the burnt umber side so I'm just gonna glaze it across this way okay so remember to do this process only when uh, it has sort of dried okay so just I'm using very little water so just get this thing across this way like this nice and easy okay yeah so very simple just burn umber and indigo so you get a very nice looking uh, sushi color so can you guys see yeah so what we have over here so I'm gonna do the same for this part so before I apply this uh, seaweed wrap around this thing right I'm gonna paint in the rice for this area so what we have here uh, for unagi right is a uh, so same thing for rice right you want to you, what you need to do is just get a bit of uh, yellow ochre and just create a bit of something like that across that uh, slab of uh, that slab of unagi over here okay then throw in a bit of uh, a burnt umber throw in a bit of burnt umber over here okay so burnt umber use it sparingly you don't want to spend too much because uh, you'll look very very gross uh, if you if you apply too much so just use a bit over here okay something like that just to get the form of this whole rice out okay something like that okay then i'm gonna make it make the edges more obvious by applying a bit more burnt umber along the edge over here like this okay not too much okay then using the same color that we have just now okay so it's a mixture of burnt umber and indigo i'm gonna paint a strip of seaweed over here so this way just line it across you can see that i'm not using a lot of uh, water over here so make sure that your combination of burnt umber and uh, indigo is leaning more towards the brown side okay so that it's not too bluish okay it's very weird to have a bluish uh, bluish seaweed okay over here okay if you notice it's bleeding a bit it's, but it's okay just leave it that way let it dry this way so you have a uh, the wrap around this thing like this okay so with this with this same color right okay i'm gonna use uh I'm gonna retouch this area because it has dried a bit right then you want to sort of create a bit of form this way so just retouch this area this way so I'm applying a bit along the edges retouch this area as well just to give this a uh, wrap is uh, a bit of feel, feeling of that seaweed tightly wrapped around this sushi so create a bit of things like this okay very simple something like that okay so we're gonna work on the yeah so we have we have quite a, a a bit of interesting things going on over here so our tuna is sort of dried up already okay so i'm gonna start adding more details to it okay so this tuna has no right now it looks the form is pretty nice okay but it's lacking a bit of uh, definition over here so what i'm gonna use uh, is a uh, naples yellow naples yellow uh, and a bit of red this mixture so you get something like that okay just to line this just to create this uh, lining line work over here. Okay, then I'm notice I'm painting diagonally to to mimic the the look of an the the slice the cross section of a fish. So to create something like that, just a very nice texture going on. So where else I can apply it here is somewhere along the fish area. 
So just draw little stripes like this. Okay, little stripes over here. Okay, just let's glaze it across this way. Okay, very nicely, diagonally, okay. So you get a very nice uh glaze of very very rosy kind of tuna going on. So this kind of stripes are what, what uh, straight away register to people as a, a tuna or a kind of fish uh, in a sense. Okay. Then for the rice underneath it, I'm using a bit of uh, just use a bit of ye yellowish uh, kind of blend. Yellowish and reddish kind of blend. So that is, it doesn't differ too far away from the the piece of meat on top. So something like that. Okay. Just a glaze across. A bit of form underneath. Okay. Yeah, so just give a bit of notice the rice is slightly pinkish, right? Okay. Which is fine, okay. okay so just leave this uh, leave it this way. So uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work a bit more on the unagi itself. So right now what I'm gonna do is uh make it more look more uh, orangey and more appetizing. So I'm taking a bit of orange, okay, and just glaze across this way. See? And just glaze across this way like that. So just just give me a bit of orange, uh, like a honey glaze over it. Okay, then for the and then what makes it looks nice is the all the slightly uh, slightly burnt part. Okay, so over here, so I'm gonna just touch it up a bit this way, make it more prominent. Okay, so just paint this way. Okay, this way, paint it in. Okay, so it's gonna be pretty dark. Over here. Okay, very nice. This way. And then the edges of here. Here the, the where the the skin is uh showing over here, a bit of skin as well as along the edges over here. So this uh burn part is pretty important uh, to make it more looks like it's uh nicely seasoned. So we have a bit of yeah okay this way so right now what i'm doing is i'm i'm making the shape a bit more prominent this way so from what you can see is the, the eel this way okay so right now what we have is a uh, salmon uh egg roll tuna and unagi okay so pretty pretty uh interesting combo going on so what i'm gonna do next is uh what we have over here okay comes the the harder ones which are the Okay, so what you have over here is a squid and shrimp, okay? So for squid, why is it difficult? Because as you can see over here, it's totally whitish or there's barely any color. Okay, so I'm going to just... So for this, right, I'm going to use a ray, wash away all the colors on your brush. You get a bit of uh, gray, gray and perhaps a bit of yellow as well, Naples yellow. You can just give it a very really nice uh, light gl glaze across. So normally you when you see the squid right you remember that remember how it looks like it's sort of like a translucent kind of thing right it looks rather rather translucent a piece of flesh over here so I'm just gonna glaze oh you cannot even see anything so I'm just gonna glaze a bit of uh, thing over here so what makes it more obvious is that I can throw in a bit of purples okay along the edge over here just throw in a bit of purple over here then for the rice where it is rice i'm gonna use a bit of uh yellows over here okay a bit of yellows let it bleed into the let the colors bleed along each along each other okay so i'm just gonna leave it to dry this way very light uh glaze of color over here then uh, the other one is a shrimp so for shrimp is a uh, this color scheme over here is uh, rather orangey right okay orange glaze but with like whitey stripes around here so very simple i just go go for orangey red kind of blend over here so right here i'm gonna go this whole part is just a silhouette paint the whole silhouette this way okay this way so the 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 whitish part appears almost uh at every intersection so i'm just gonna leave a bit of gap over here among each intersection over here so just use yellow i'll use orange and uh, a bit of red this way 
So just touch it up a bit. Something like that. Here's a bit of orange over here. So the main thing is just to, to remember to leave that little gap in between. Each, uh, each, each segment. Okay. So this, this very nice uh, shape going on over here. And this one over here. Okay, so once you have this, right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch up the, the edge over here, making it more reddish at the, along the, the end of the t ends of the tail, something like that. So, very simple, very quick uh, way to paint a, a shim, right? Okay, so just group up this whole thing as well, group the bottom line, just line across a, a bit of, using the same color that you're using just now to just line the bottom, line the top as well. Okay, this way very quick and easy okay a bit so for the front part you want to dilute it a bit you don't need to be too harsh wash it away a bit slightly and just continue this way just throw a bit of uh it just just create a bit of form this way okay then using the same color right okay make it more slightly more yellowish then just uh paint in the the rice as well so the rice right notice i'm just leaving the center part rather empty okay some techniques you can use to make the thing softer, right? The edges softer is just uh, using a bit of tissue to just dab off. You just create this uh, fluffy kind of uh, fluffy kind of feel. Then you want to use uh, your same color to to just draw a bit of uh, rice texture over here. Okay, something like that. Okay, so uh, all your first layer, right? You want to leave it very very light and very light and clean. Okay, very light and dainty this way. Okay, so. Uh, all these are pretty pretty done okay so this part I'm just gonna wait for the squid to be done okay, so for the squid I'm gonna just touch up right now it's pretty pretty dry really. so what, what I'm gonna use now right is a watery version of uh, Bernabe Inigo to sort of just draw my line work okay this way let's draw a bit of lines over here you guys see okay then for this case I'm gonna use a bit more bluish lines over here. blue and purple so a slight blue and slight purple to make sure that it's pretty dry okay so i'm just gonna draw a line across this way streaks that goes across the entire sushi something like that okay this way something like that okay then you use a bit more uh, yellow to to touch up the rice area Okay, so right now uh, this color is actually a uh, yellow ochre it's very prominent right okay so something like that so use this yellow ochre to touch up the other rice as well okay so this this prawn is pretty dry already okay so i'm gonna add uh, the final layers for the prawn so what it has is a red center line center line that goes across it this part the, the back of the line over here this division over here they just line it a bit. Then after that, what you have to do is uh, at each at the top of each segment, you want to reinforce this part. Let's add a bit of reds this way. Let's add a bit of things going on this way. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So just use the same color to just touch up certain areas of other other parts as well. So. Okay, so with that, uh, I'll end this tutorial and thank you for watching. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, so just a closer look. Okay, salmon, tuna, you, the egg roll. Okay, I can't really show you how. Okay, let me just detach this thing first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we just have a closer look. Shroom, the squid. Yeah, okay. So I don't really have time for the, the rest, so <laughs> okay, so hope you enjoy. Okay, bye bye.